when my ass was 19 years old. I changed the face of professional Pokemon training forever. All eyes on this, folks. It's Battle 5 of the series. Newcomer Seth Powers just managed to tie it up to all with Jim Reader Samsonoff. Powers wins this, and he'll be the youngest rookie trainer ever to pick up his eighth gym match. Samsonoff says 18 0 this season and won't be looking to ruin his perfect record tonight. Matchup, vital throw. Watch out. Dodge it, Arcanine. Flamethrower that bitch! <gasps> Boom! You're fucking faint! And Powers has done it! The badge is his! This is a special night, folks. We are witnessing greatness. I was handed the keys to the region. Multi-million dollar deals, my own gym, Everyone wanted a piece of the Seth Powers pie. Get some, motherfuckers. But when you have climbed to the top of Victory Road, the fall back down is twice as hard. I deny all allegations of inappropriate conduct towards any trainers at my gym, nor any of their direct relatives. Mr. Powers, one unnamed woman claimed you said, and I quote, that the only way your son can challenge at my gym is if you make my trouser metapod use Harden. Can you confirm or deny this? Ah, oh, shit. I didn't know about any banned substances, Arcanine. I promise, I'm gonna get you back, dog. Now this story may seem like a tragedy, about how a man with money, fame, and his pick of desperate trainers as MILF moms can somehow lose it all, but no, my friends, this is much more than that. This is a tale of redemption. This is... This brings us right up to now, the day I was finally about to turn my life around. Seth! Seth! Seth, wake up! Huh? <laughs> Professor Sativa, what the hell are you doing? It's the feds, man. They're above us listening in. Quiet, can you hear it? That's a pigeon nest, motherfucker, and you know it. Their shit keeps dripping down to the bathroom. You know I don't need to be woken up like this on today of all days. We're not safe speaking here. Come down to the basement. Squirtle, squirtle, squirtle. Man, these paranoid freakouts. Why did I ever rent a room from you in the first place, dog? You can't be too careful, man. Shit, you haven't even been to sleep, have you? What? This is exactly what I mean. I'm supposed to be getting into my zen so I can be the best me possible ready for today. What's even so important about today, man? Have you not been listening to anything I say? Today is the day my battling ban ends, and I can become a Pokemon trainer again. I need to get down to the PTLA and get my license so I can resume my journey to be the very best like no one ever was. That's heavy, man. Want a hint of this first? No way, motherfucker. I need to keep a clear head. Every time we smoke up, we end up on the couch all day watching the real housewives of Goldenrod City. What's wrong with that? Ah, oh, fuck it. Crap. I knew this would happen. I didn't do any of the shit I was supposed to do today. What shit was you supposed to do? Ah, fuck it. I'll do it tomorrow. Who could that be? What do you want? Uh, I'd like a starter Pokemon, please. I got Trico, Bulbasaur, and Chikorita. Can I get a quarter ounce of Trico?
Aren't you a little young to be smoking weed? So I'm old enough to train Pokemon, but I'm not old enough to smoke weed? Just give me the bag, man. Kids these days. I'm so goddamn ready to get my gym back and get out of here, man. What does that kid want now? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! We know you losers are hiding the weed farm. Where is it? Snorlax, do something! Spiro, I choose you! Bounce now. They killed Spiro! Check the basement, Bellsprout. And where's that dumb Chansey? Chansey, Chansey. Next time, maybe you'll think again before selling on Team Rocket's turf. <laughs> Holy shit! Bellsprout! Those motherfuckers bleed? Electabuzz, run! Leave the dumb, Her stupid fancy. fucking Chansey behind! Yeah, you better run! I can't believe those bastards jacked my weed, man. You told me you were cool to sell on Team Rocket's turf. How am I supposed to know what's cool and what's not cool? Uh, at least they left behind their Chansey. We can chop it up and sell the meat to that shady restaurant up the street. Get the knives, Snorlax! Chansey? Ah, shit. Don't kill it. Then what do we do with it? Well, you said you were going to source me a Pokemon. I guess I'll take this one. It's a pathetic Pokemon, dude. Its best move is like Defense Curl. I was going to get you a Dragonite. Just forget it. Let me have Chansey. If you say so, man. Snorlax, we're not killing Chansey. Let's smoke up. I have saved you from death which means in return, you now owe me your life. I will train you, but only as part of my journey to get to the top. As soon as I am able to, I will replace you with a stronger Pokemon. Do you understand? And are you ready to join me on my journey towards redemption? What the motherfucking fuck?